morning. Happy Monday. Today we're reading from the book of John, chapter 1, the first half of the book of that chapter. Here we go. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man that was sent from God whose name was John. Now here John, we're referring to uh, John the Baptist, not John the Apostle who wrote the book. Alrighty. He came as a witness to testify concerning the light, all so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet, to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children not born of natural descent, nor of a human decision, nor of a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Imagine walking on earth the same time that Jesus was there. What an awesome thing that would have been. John testified concerning him. He cried out and saying, This is the one that I spoke to you about when I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Out of the fullness, we have all received grace in a place of grace already given. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus, through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but the one and only Son, who he himself, God, and is in the closest relationship with the Father, has made himself known. In other words, God uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost have always been together. So here we are uh, seeing John the Baptist explaining that God who was there in the beginning, now God in the flesh, the only begotten Son of God, walking on earth. And John the Baptist will do what he's called to do, to baptize, the baptism of repentance. So here we go. Now this was John's testimony when the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him who he was. He did not fail to confess, but confessed freely, I am not the Messiah. They asked him, Then who are you? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Finally, they say, Who are you? Give us an answer so we could take back to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am a voice of one calling in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. Now the Pharisees who had been sent, who had sent him, questioned him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? I baptize with water, John replied. But among you stands one you do not know. He is the one who comes after me, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. This will happen at Bethany, on the other side of the Jordan, where John was baptizing. Hope you have enjoyed the Word of God, the first chapter of chapter 1 in the book of John. To God be the glory. Bye.